Hello my dear darling people, my name is Sanatan Pagare and thanks for tuning in to Bright Myth. Today we are going to talk about aviation alliances, but before we start today's episode, please make sure to like the episode, share the episode, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell icon for future content and please comment down below. And without any further ado, let's begin. What is an airline alliance? Airline alliance is a corporate arrangement between two or more airlines to improve marketing and also to cut the cost of operations by sharing each other's resources like ground handling, check-in, boarding facilities and many more. Star Alliance, SkyTeam and OneWorld are the three major airline alliances dominating the aviation industry. Star Alliance, Star Alliance is the world's largest and oldest airline alliance. Founded on May 14, 1997, with its headquarters located in Frankfurt, Germany. On May 14, 1997, an agreement was announced forming an alliance of five airlines of three continents, Lufthansa, United Airlines, Scandinavian Airlines, Thai Airways and Air Canada. Later, a number of other airlines joined the alliance including Air India, All Nippon Airways, Air New Zealand and many more. SkyTeam SkyTeam is one of the world's three major airline alliances founded in June 2000 with its headquarters in Amsterdam, Netherlands. SkyTeam was the last of the three alliances to be formed, but still the second largest of the three in terms of passenger count. Delta Airlines, Air France, Korean Air and Aeromexico are the founding members of SkyTeam. OneWorld OneWorld is an airline alliance founded in 1999 with its headquarters in New York City. American Airlines, British Airways, Cathay Pacific, Canadian Airlines and Qantas are the founding members of the alliance. OneWorld is the third largest global alliance in terms of passenger flow. In the year 2015, Star Alliance emerged as the largest aviation alliance with 23% of total scheduled traffic in revenue passenger miles RPM, followed by SkyTeam with 20.4%, and OneWorld with 17.8%. By the end of the year 2019, Star Alliance was the leading alliance when it came to the number of passengers carried, as it carried 762 million passengers compared to SkyTeam's 632 million and OneWorld's 535 million. The main benefit of forming such an alliance is that alliance partners are able to seamlessly transfer passengers from one partner airline to another, making it easier to attract customers. Aviation alliances are also very valuable in case of flight delays and cancellations, as they allow airlines to reroute passengers onto services operated by fellow alliance members. So this was a brief episode on airline alliances where we looked into three major alliances and we discussed their advantages. The script for today's episode was provided by my co-creator Subhukani Kanti, who also did the research for this episode. And with that said, see you next time. Bye!